Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, nylons and the different grades. I think an appropriate place, place to start is going to be talking about the introduction of nylon into medical devices. Originally everyone used PET as the material of choice for high pressure angioplasty balloons. The reason why people used PET was because they were able to get extremely thin double wall thicknesses as well as good rated burst pressures. The reason why nylon was so quickly adopted was because people were able to achieve uh, equally as thin walls and uh, comparable burst pressures with these balloons. The main advantage was increased flexibility as well as decreased uh, tendency of pinholing. And when I refer to pinholing, I'm referring to uh, small holes that would basically be failure points in the balloons and would result in larger standard deviations in burst pressure and ultimately lower the rate of burst pressure of balloons. So people quickly adopted nylon balloons because of these, these the increased flexibility, uh, comparable burst strengths, and the unique geometries that they were able to achieve. Some of the main uh, materials that we work with here at POBA are Vestimid ML21 and Grillmid L25. In our experience, we've had much better success with Vestimid ML21 uh, because it's easier to process from an extrusion standpoint as well as from a blow forming standpoint. We've noticed that grill mid L25 has been claimed to have higher burst pressures, but through studies that we've done, we've seen little to no difference in between Vestimid ML21 and grill mid L L25 and their burst strength and, and compliance characteristics. <laughs> 